What is up guys? Xenotech here for another video. We've seen it all. The iPhone 7, the Galaxy Note series. All of these are really expensive smartphones, you know. But what about the other end of the spectrum? What about budget phones? People who want really good quality phones for a lesser price. And there's one problem with this market. There's too many of these budget phones that you see at Walmart, Target, and Best Buy. And this video will show you that I think I may have found just the one. So today's video will be reviewing and unboxing the Alcatel One Touch Pixie Glory 4G LTE smartphone from Straight Talk Wireless. Let's check it out. What is up guys, Xenotech here for an unboxing video and a phone review of the Alcatel One Touch Pixie Glory 4G LTE smartphone from Straight Talk Wireless. I got this at Walmart for $49.99 plus tax and if you ask me it's not a bad looking phone. It's got a 5.5 inch display which is fairly big, it's almost about the same size as an iPhone 6S Plus and you know it's got 720p display which is pretty decent, I mean for $49.99 that's what you're gonna get basically but it's fairly nice um, one of the good things I like about this phone and it's got that rear autofocus shooter um, it's pretty rare these days that you can find a budget phone that has a rear facing camera that has autofocus so you can take better and clearer photos um, let me open this up real quick and while I'm opening this up let me show you the specs Alright, so here we are with the phone. The packaging is okay for a budget phone, of course. You're not going to get that much. Uh, hello. Anyway, what else we got here in the back? The start here guide. We probably don't need that. Service guides. We don't need those. Probably later on. But, you know, we're, we're just going to have to focus with the phone. So here it is, guys. That's the phone right there. And let me open this up. And it looks like that's like a plastic film that we're gonna have to uncover later on. Let me set this first to the side. Let's see what else we got. But actually, let me show you the phone real quick. Uh, let me show you the back. Um, as you can see, it's got a 2500 milliamp hour battery, but it's non-removable. Uh, let me tell you right now, if it's dead, it's dead. So that's the micro SD card slot, camera and flash, and on the right, you see your micro SIM card slot. And let me set the front. Let me peel this off real quick. There we go. So you can see, nice and big, five and a half inch display. And as you can see on the bottom, the home button, I believe that's a capacitive home button. It's not a physical button or anything like that. So let me set that to the side. Let's see what else we got here in the box. Um, that looks like the back cover. I don't know why they put it separately, but who knows, right? And this is just, what else we got here? quick start guide we probably don't need that and that's it guys no headphones or anything that's all you're gonna get let's see what we got here is a micro USB sorry micro USB um, cable for syncing and charging your phone and of course you're gonna get a power brick a power adapter whatever you want to call it I got a bunch of these at home sometimes I don't even open up my Whenever I buy something new, I don't even open up the USB power adapter. I just use the existing ones I have in my home. But, you know, it's not recommended. So make sure you guys use the actual power adapter that comes with the phone. Just, you know, an advisement. And let's see what we got here. Let me set that to the side. And let's get on ahead with the back cover. Let me peel this off real quick. So you can see... It seems like it's made out of uh, plastic, kind of like a brushed aluminum finish, but it's actually plastic. So you can tell I'm bending it left and right. 
Um, let me try and see if I can stick that in there real quick. Um, it doesn't seem to be flushing real quick, so I'm probably just gonna have to uh, speed up this video. So. <laughs> All right, guys, that took me some time to get it in there. Just letting you know right now, if you buy this phone, it's going to take some time to get that back cover in there. That's your earpiece right there, front-facing camera. On the bottom, you get your capacitive home button. On the right-hand side, you got your power button, volume rocker right there. On the top, you got your headphone jack on, the, on that side. And then on the left side, you got your microphone and then nothing on the left-hand side. And you have a secondary microphone so you can hear your neighbors chatter about you. Also, you got your micro USB port for charging. On the back, you got your speaker grill, camera, flash, and on the bottom, you get your Alcatel One Touch logo right there. And that's it, guys. That's the phone. Let me see if I can boot this up real quick and see how long it takes. There it is guys, take about 32 seconds more or less to start up the phone, that's not too bad I guess. And as you can see from this phone, from the lock screen itself, they do have some different elements from their custom UI, but it's mostly it looks like it's, it's stock Android. Granted it's only one gigabyte of RAM, I think it's a good approach for them to just put basically stock Android and then some little itty bitty differences or modifications that they put on this phone um, because if they put like a really heavy skin on this phone man it's gonna suck like real bad um, let's see what else we got here as you can see on the bottom you have your capacitive buttons they actually illuminate the the back button and the um, multitasking button on the right which is not bad it's pretty cool um, let's see what else, what else we got here this is actually running on Android 5.1 lollipop I think there's gonna be an update soon. It does have a, it says software update on the top, which is pretty good, I guess. So maybe it's just a matter of time. They're gonna put 6.0 Marshmallow and they push it out there so you can enjoy the benefits of having um, Android 6.0. And let's see what else we got here. Like I said, battery sucks because it's non-removable. So when it's dead, it's dead. You're gonna have to run for your life to get through that, that outlet so you can charge your phone. And let's see what else we got here. That's pretty much it, guys. It's, it's, like I said, for a budget phone, you don't get much, but it's running Android, which is good. You know, you get more um, features when it comes to customization, putting some skins here and there. As you can see here on the camera, I'm, I'm reviewing the actual footage from the camera itself, from the phone. It's not too bad. Like I said, 720p, give or take 30 frames per second it's not bad it's kind of washed out um, also if you can look when you, when you once you start taking pictures yeah it's not great you know I mean it's pretty decent but as you can see colors are all a bit, bit washed out they're not vivid or anything it does have an LED flash which kind of helps but it's not that bright as you can see I tried focusing pretty good so you know for close-up shots with that autofocus it does a better job compared to the other budget phones that don't have autofocus but like I said um, it's not great it's decent but not great um, let's see what else we got here as you can see me over here recording a, a selfie on the front facing camera you gotta have good lighting otherwise it's gonna look crappy cuz you know when it comes to photography you gotta have good lighting otherwise it's gonna suck and that's the um, two megapixel front facing shooter you know if, if you like taking selfies well I don't know if you're gonna like this phone and of course it's not gonna be complete with this phone review if we're not gonna test the gaming graphics capabilities of this phone actually I, I tried testing it on the uh, Antutu benchmark 
it came out with a score of 21,000 or something like that but the loading times suck I'm gonna tell you right now it's gonna take some time to load up the, the game especially when you just install it but once it's running it's actually not bad I, I was actually impressed on how well this phone um, handles the game this is Real Racing 3 from EA Games um, it's a graphics intensive game and as you can see it's running buttery smooth and I was amazed uh, for a budget phone I'm like what but there it is guys if you like gaming I'm pretty sure this one is a it's a no-brainer so there you have it guys that's my review for the Alcatel One Touch Pixie Glory 4G LTE smartphone from Straight Talk Wireless and one of the good things that I like about this phone is besides having an autofocus camera it also has good gaming graphics and it's got that five and a half inch big screen display so if you're into gaming and like watching HD content on a big screen device I believe this phone is for you but then again it's personal preference um, but one of the things that I don't like about this phone is it only has eight gigabytes of storage especially, especially nowadays all the content are like really big files so you're gonna have that storage that expandable storage so good thing it's got a micro SD card slot so you can put a uh, maximum of 32 gigabytes uh, for your micro micro SD card expansion slot. thank you guys for watching if you have any questions comments just hit the comment section on the bottom other than that if you like this video hit subscribe and thank you for watching peace